What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Hampstead, North Carolina at Future Homes and we're getting ready to walk through yet another beautiful modular home. This is the Cypress Point. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,824 square foot modular home and it is stunning inside. Future Homes, if you haven't watched the first one or maybe this is the first one, I'm not real sure. Uh, they are the premier modular home builder here in eastern North Carolina. Their homes are something else, definitely one of a kind, and very, very nice. Now the front of this home does have this really nice porch. It is optional, but the green siding and the red shutters and the red door just make this home look like something amazing. Now they have really done it up here. They've got I think five homes that you guys can come and check out if you're in the area and if you are definitely do so because you're really close to the beach uh, so you can go and make a whole thing of it but coming around to the side just really nice I love the the foundation that they went with with these cinder blocks very neutral uh, which just allows you to really take in like the rest of the home with the green and the red so I think that's really nice Coming around to the back, you do have a whole bunch of windows back here, and then you also have uh, your back door. Again, you can come here and get a, a nice porch, maybe put a deck back here. One of the homes that we just toured had a really nice back deck. You know, maybe even surround like a, an above ground pool, or maybe even have an in ground pool, and this just kind of leads out onto a patio. So really nice, and then you have this huge picture window right here. It sits right above a tub. I think it's really cool. <laughs> and then coming back around to the other end of the home, this is what it looks like. Now on the porch, you have plenty of room up here. Again, though, like I said, I think this is optional, uh, but you do have quite a bit of space for rocking chairs, maybe even a swing if that's what you were into. And you can have one on either side. So maybe you want the best of both worlds you know a couple rock chairs over here put a swing over there and you are good to go and then you do have a, a lantern right here and then from there we'll just go ahead and go inside and again it smells so nice in here they really take care of this place. They really do it up. Like it's a whole experience when you come uh, over here to future home. So nice find Jennifer. You did quite well with these. I'm tickled with them. Anyway, this is your front door right here when you first come into the front door and that opens up into kind of, let's call this your formal living room because this house has two, I guess the back one would, probably be more so like a den area but not necessarily a space that uh, would be used maybe it would be used I'm not real sure let me know down in the comments what do you do if do you have two different living rooms uh, is one just kind of decorated and it's like a sitting room for guests and the other one is more so like your real living space I don't know but from the living room you have your dining room area and all of that is it's like this really nice open concept but plenty of light coming through all of these windows on this side of the home and then you have this really unique looking island kind of like the pinstripe on the front of it and then this really beautiful looking countertop with the pendant lights up above it but it's kind of like a a third of a circle maybe I think that's what it would be but great big island and then on this side you have plenty of drawers Ooh, and I think these are soft clothes too very nice I think this is your trash can drawer now the last one I went in it, none of it was soft clothes even though I'm sure you could uh, upgrade to soft clothes cabinets and stuff if you wanted to but it's just Nice to see that. Then you have space for your refrigerator and then all of the upper cabinets here in the kitchen. They don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. So you can put a little bit of decoration up there. You've got nice crown molding going throughout this whole home too. 
So they really take a lot of pride in these homes. And then as far as inside of the cabinets, you do have these adjustable wood shelves. Really nice glass tile backsplash back here too. And then you have your stove and microwave. And then your stainless sink looking out of your back window. And right next to that, you do have a dishwasher. All right, I don't think that we missed any. I was looking around to see if I saw any like unique kind of uh, cabinets that maybe we haven't seen before. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and work our way down this end of the home first, and then we'll get to the master bedroom here in a little bit, just because I think it's really nice. I wanna save the best for last. So as you come down the hall, you do have this kind of, this linen closet. And then right next to that, you have your utility room. You got a little folding table right here. And then you have washer and dryer hookups. And then this is your back door that goes out onto those back steps, electric panel. And then this is nice. You have a nice like storage room. So got some shelves in here. You know, you could even put like a freezer or something in here if you wanted to, but some, it's nice just to have, you know, a place that's not an attic, you know what I mean? Because attics, they get so muggy up there. But I'm sure this home has an attic and I'm sure we'll find it. But anyway, uh, as you exit the hallway, you are greeted by this den area. It has this beautiful, fireplace really nice i love that with the built-ins on either side i mean again just look at the the detail right here you got this nice kind of rope accent i think that looks really pretty and then you have a nice deep space to mount your tv and then again these built-ins on either side and then they even put like a little bar back here <laughs> it's all decorating stuff but you know just a fun little room come back here and hang out and then off of this you do have two uh, of the secondary bedrooms so nice size bedrooms in here also and then it has two closet doors. Interesting. Does it go all the way through? No. So there is one and there is two. So maybe if this room has like bunk beds or something, and you got two different kids in here, uh, they can each have their own closet. I think that's pretty nifty. And then we'll just go ahead and go across the hall into the second bedroom. Again, it has the same thing. Uh, it's almost the same size. But again, some more closets in here. And we won't go into the other one. I feel like you get the gist of it. But that's pretty neat. Or maybe you have like a winter closet and a summer closet. And then in the middle of those two bedrooms, you do have uh, your bathroom with a single vanity right here, your vanity light, your toilet, and then you have a shower and tub combo. All right. And then back across the house, we'll go into your master bedroom. These look like extra wide doorways too. So that's nice. And into the master bedroom, great big windows right here. Large room. And then the closet in here is huge. So nice deep walk-in closet. Got some shoe racks. 
and then here's your attic access right here. I knew we'd find it. And then also off of the bedroom, you have your master bath, double vanity right here. And then this great big soaking tub right below this beautiful window. And then another nice built-in at the end of it also. And then back behind us, you have your toilet. And then you have your shower. So you got foot rest on either side, maybe a bench. And then your shower heads. All right, y'all let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information about future homes or this model, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. If you want to check out another beautiful home from Future Homes, go ahead and click on this video right here. And as always, guys, my name is Timothy. I hope you have an exceptional day, and I'll see you in the next one.